Hello students, this is Jayapai speaking. In this class, let us uh, try to solve some problems on a uh, chemical oxygen demand. In the previous class, we discussed in detail about uh, the determination of chemical oxygen demand that is COD of uh, a waste water. Chemical oxygen demand is uh, defined as the amount of oxygen required for the complete oxidation of uh, the total organic load present in a 1 liter of a water sample using a strong oxidizing agent such as a acidified potassium dichromate. So acidified potassium dichromate is a chemical here. Chemical actually produces oxygen. That oxygen attacks the organic waste present in the water sample and converts the organic waste into carbon dioxide and water. So how much oxygen is needed in milligrams in order to come in order to convert the total organic load present in 1 liter of the waste water is known as a chemical oxygen demand. Moving on let us solve three different types of problems here as per your syllabus. Uh, First problem that is problem type 1. That is problem 1 given here. That is using a, I mean a, a formula directly and then substitution. Now COD of the wastewater sample a direct formula is there. Normality of FAS into V2 minus V1 into 8 into 1000 divided by V. Now V2 is uh, the volume of FAS used. Uh, for a blank titration because you know that in COD determination there are two types of titrations back titration and blank titration V2 is the volume of FAS used for blank titration V1 is the volume of used for a back titration now V is how much volume of uh, the sewage water or waste water is taken for the analysis NFAS is a normality of FAS 8 is equivalent mass of uh, oxygen now unit of uh, COD is milligrams per uh, liter. Now you have to read the problem 25 ml of the sewage water. So how much water is taken for the analysis 25. So V is uh, 25 here uh, and, uh, and then uh, that needs to be highlighted. Uh, suppose V is uh, 25 means uh, so this is your uh, V okay and then uh, uh, it is treated with 50 ml of a potassium dichromate solution. So it is treated with the 50 ml of a potassium dichromate solution. So it is excess. Excess potassium dichromate solution is added. So we can say that it is excess. Always we are adding potassium dichromate excess. Out of the some potassium dichromate added, some amount will be utilized for the oxidation of the waste. The unreacted potassium dichromate, unreacted potassium dichromate is, um, I mean, uh, titrated with the ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. Its normality is given 0.25 normal. Uh, upon titration, 18 ml of FAS is uh, used up. So, unreacted means uh, it is uh, back titration. So, unreacted means back titration. Back titration means V1. Here blank titration also they have given under similar condition blank titer value also given that is done with the help of distilled water. So it is V2. So V2 is always greater than V1. So for V2 here 30 ml of FA solution is consumed. So it is V2 it is 30 here also highlighted. V1 it is 18 ml. And V is 25. Normality of FAS is directly given 0.25. So it is very easy. Blank titer value they will give. Unreacted dichromate if they give means it is back titration. That volume is to be taken for, I mean taken as a V1. Now upon substitution you have to calculate and you will get 96 milligrams per liter. So that is very very easy. Only thing you have to remember what is normality of FAS you have to identify then what is blank titer value you have to identify that is always V2 what is back titer value that you have to identify that is generally given as unreacted potassium dichromate that is V1 and then uh, how much volume of uh, uh, water is taken for analysis it is in the beginning of the problem generally it is found uh, so that is in the denominator you have to write so V2 is always greater than uh, V1 
okay so this is the answer is a direct substitution problem now moving on uh, problem number 2 this is different type of problem here it is given 50 ml of an industrial sewage has consumed 11.5 ml of 0.4 normal potassium dichromate solution for complete oxidation calculate the cvod of the industrial sewage here they have not given any information about uh, fas solution they have not uh, mentioned anything about a uh, unreacted potassium dichromate they have not told anything about a uh, blank titration is it correct so when there is no unreacted potassium dichromate no blank titer value nothing is uh, given uh, you have to see it is a uh, 0.4 normal the data is given in a uh, normality so you have to remember one formula in this case 1000 ml of uh, one normal potassium dichromate uh, it always gives 8 gram of oxygen 1000 ml means 1 liter 1 liter of one normal potassium dichromate uh, is equivalent to producing a uh, I mean, it is. It produces eight gram of uh, oxygen. So, eleven point five mL. You have to write below this thousand. Eleven point five mL of point uh, four normal. Write below one normal. Now you write point four normal potassium dichromate uh, produces how much oxygen? So, eleven point five mL of point four normal potassium dichromate produces how much oxygen? This formula you have to be knowing that is thousand mL of one normal potassium dichromate is eight gram of oxygen. It is one normal, one normal eight gram of oxygen. So cross multiplication eleven point five into point four into eight. So eleven point five into point four into eight divided by thousand into one. It is one normal. So it is just thousand. When you calculate, uh, that will give you 0.0368 gram of uh, oxygen. So this is in terms of gram. Uh, so you have to convert this one into milligram. So multiply this one by thousand. So you get 36.8 milligram of uh, oxygen. Uh, that is, I mean, uh, provided by 11.5 mL of 0.4 normal potassium dichromate uh, when 50 mL of the sewage sample is uh, taken for the analysis. Therefore, COD of the sample is a uh, 36.8. Whatever value you get here, you have to multiply by 1000 and divide by this value 50 because 50 mL of the sewage water requires a uh, 36.8 milligram of oxygen uh, for a uh, I mean waste to be completely oxidized. Then 1000 mL of a uh, waste water. Suppose uh, if you have taken 1000 mL of the waste water means 1 liter of waste water how much oxygen is uh, required so 36.8 into 1000 divided by 50 whatever i mean um, volume of the sample water is given that should come in the denominator and then you have to multiply by 1000 that is uh, to calculate for 1 liter of the water sample so upon calculation you will get 736 mg per uh, liter that is uh, that means that 736 mg of oxygen uh, is required for the complete oxidation of the total waste present in 1 uh, liter of the water sample i repeat uh, you have to see if there is uh, data like normality of fas uh, unreacted potassium dichromate blank titer value back titer value nothing is given means uh, in the problem only potassium dichromate data is provided uh, in terms of normality in that case you have to use this formula 1000 ml of one normal potassium dichromate is equal to 8 gram of oxygen this is important and after that you go on substituting uh, accordingly 11.5 ml to be written below 1000 and one normal below you have to write 0.4 normal then you have to calculate it is equal to how much gram of oxygen that is direct cross multiplication 11.5 into 0.4 into 8 divided by 1000 so you get 0.0368 gram of oxygen that is nothing but 36.8 mg of oxygen you have to convert gram into milligrams and after that cod of the sample to be calculated this much milligram of oxygen is required for the oxidation of the waste present in 50 ml of the sewage cod means you have to calculate for 1000 ml therefore 36.8 into 1000 divided by 50 so that value will get um, 736 mg per liter moving on third type second and third they are very 
I mean what uh, they are similar actually only thing is that uh, instead of normality the data will be provided in a molarity rest all it is same instead of normality data will be provided in molarity here also you don't have normality of FAS don't have black titer, uh, blank titer value don't have back titration unreacted potassium dichromate no such information will be provided only dichromate data will be provided in molarity in that case you have to remember 1000 ml of one molar potassium dichromate is 48 gram oxygen it is one molar here whereas in the previous case it is one normal so when one normal dichromate is taken it is 8 gram of oxygen one molar dichromate is taken then it is 48 gram of oxygen it means to say that one liter of one molar potassium dichromate produces 48 gram of oxygen one liter 1000 ml of one molar dichromate provides 48 gram of oxygen one liter or 1000 ml of one normal potassium dichromate produces 8 gram of oxygen now this data you have to substitute below 1000 ml you have to write 12.5 ml and then 0.015 molar that is just below 1 molar you have to write here 0.015 molar dichromate means how much gram of oxygen will be provided now 12.5 into 0.015 into 48 that you have to multiply divide by 1000 into 1 that is 1000 so upon calculation you get 0.00898 gram of oxygen that if you multiply by 1000 you get 8.98 milligram of oxygen so you are converting gram into milligrams so this much milligram of oxygen is required in order to oxidize the total waste present in 25 ml of the industrial effluent that means industrial waste so in 25 ml of the industrial waste oxidation to be carried out we need 8.98 milligram of oxygen but to calculate COD we have to calculate it for 1 liter that is 1000 ml so we have to multiply this value by 1000 and then we have to divide it by the I mean volume of a sample taken so 8.98 into 1000 divided by 25 so that value you get it a 359.2 milligrams per liter so problem number 2 and problem 3 they are very very similar in problem 2 the normality data is given for a dichromator in problem number 3 dichromate strength is provided in a molarity so for normality uh, data is given means uh, that is equivalent to 8 gram of uh, oxygen uh, if molarity data is given means uh, the formula becomes uh, where uh, you have 48 gram of uh, oxygen so this uh, these are the two formulae you have to remember that is in problem 2 and problem 3 and uh, problem 1 uh, it is a uh, direct substitution uh, type uh, this problem uh, you have uh, obtained uh, that is by the calculation uh, uh, that is, uh, that is by the calculation means while studying the theory behind a COD experiment you arrived at uh, this particular uh, formula. Hope uh, I have made the things very clear to you. Still you might have some uh, doubts uh, because problems means uh, certainly some doubts crop up in your uh, mind. Let the doubts uh, arise uh, in the mind. Uh, please uh, in case if you have uh, any queries uh, at any time uh, you can uh, call and uh, get your doubts uh, clarified only these three types of problems uh, you will be getting uh, in the examination uh. so solve these three types of uh, problems for your uh, i mean uh, what uh, better understanding uh, i have uh, assigned one uh, what uh, i have given one assignment uh, that assignment i have loaded uh, in uh, i mean google class so these are the different types of uh, problems uh, I mean uh, you will find uh, there in the assignment uh, just to try to solve or uh, try to understand uh, what it is answer sol answers are also provided there uh, just cross verify your answer with that of the answer provided uh, there if you don't get any answer there uh, if you don't get the answer uh, that is given over there uh, then please uh, call and uh, I mean uh, find out where exactly you have uh, gone wrong thank you